Hi guys, today we're taking a look at just slow motion of a Pedersen PB rifle. This was of course the competitor to the M1 Garin, developed in the 1930s, it fired the 276 Pedersen cartridge, and it used a uh, delayed blowback toggle locking mechanism. Now here it is live fire. And here we have the same thing in slow motion. Now a lot of people comment that the toggle coming up like that must be really obnoxious and block your sights. As a matter of fact, it's something you really don't notice. Uh, similar to a Luger, comes up and then disappears before you have a chance to respond. Uh, these were fed by 10 round end block clips, uh, I, stylistically very similar to an M1 Garand's clip. You can see that one is vibrating through the air there. They do ping just like an M1 clip. Um, that's simply an artifact of uh, a thin sheet metal clip getting chucked out of the gun. Here we have the uh, clip ejection from the side as well. Uh, this does of course lock open when it's empty and in that position that open toggle uh, does obviously disrupt your sight picture and does a very good job of letting you know that the rifle needs to be reloaded. In general this was a very pleasant gun to shoot. Um, it would be very interesting to try out an M1 in 276 Pedersen. I think the US military missed an opportunity to modernize by not choosing this cartridge. Here we have the same thing from the front. Uh, it's also worth pointing out that these rifles did use wa hard wax coated cases uh, to allow better extraction and ejection. And one more clip here coming from the back. Now we did have one malfunction with this rifle during this uh, shooting session. It didn't get into the original video, but I figured it would be interesting to put in here. We had a failure of the clip to fully eject after the last round. So there it comes. The clip tries to come out and it catches on something. I'm not sure exactly what it caught on inside the receiver, but that was the one malfunction we had during about 60 rounds of firing. So we'll follow up here just with a live fire of that mouth. And there it is. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, certainly check back into Forgotten Weapons for more cool slow motion. And thanks to the guys from TFB TV for letting me use the rifle.